for the camera. <laughs> stay with the scammers. Hey, I what is good, my fellow YouTube fam? It's your boy Aaron speaking, and today's a very special day for your boy. Never interviewed anybody. I've always been on the opposite end, you know, for interviews, for jobs, and shit like that. But we here. I'm interviewing an up and coming artist, dope dude, super cool guy, dope music. This should be fun, man. This 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 is legendary, low key. So I really hope you guys enjoy this. And hopefully, you know, you guys check out his music and, you know, support him and all that good stuff. But uh, without further ado, drum roll, please. Where he at? Hey. There you go. <laughs> there he goes. There he goes. What's good, my boy? What's up, bro? Let's get it, man. Hold on. I'm trying to figure out how to um put it so that the cameras are like side by side. Oh, view, view. Mm -hmm. Hey, I got it. Let's get it, boy. Yo, I appreciate you being on my channel and whatnot, man. Let's get it. I'm hype. The fans going, they gonna know, they gonna know today, bro. They gonna know today, bro. <laughs> but uh yeah, yo, let's let's get right into it, my boy. So tell us your tell us your actual name, if you don't mind, bro. You know what I'm oh, saying? Uh, so all right, I'll just kill two birds with one stone. Like okay. my, my artist name is Tay the Don. Tay the Don. So if okay. you flip if you flip Tay the Don around, it's yeah. Don Tay. So okay. my uh, my name is Don Tay. So like <laughs> that's lit. Nah, it's because it's, it's interesting because I see you have X's in your name. Was mm -hmm. that inspired by X or nah? Nah, man. I, well, I got I'm the a, read. I'm a yeah, hell yeah, bro. Get your electrolytes. I'm a huge, I'm a huge Scarlet fan, bro. Like ah shit, UK I'm a shit. Huge Scar -Lord. And he uh like originally it was a O, Word. but like people was like going by the Don, like so and so the Don, so and so yeah. the Don. Nah, bro, like I want my name to stand out. So like Word. Oh that shit, and I was like, yo, bet like I'm about to just put an X there. Word. I see I cause I see on your Instagram name. You have uh, Lord Kavi. Where where did that come from? Lord Kavi, Kavi, some girl. So some girl of like Arabic descent. Uh -huh. She used to call me Kavi. I, well, I forgot what what language she spoke. It was a, she's Arabic, but it was another language. Mm -hmm. And she would always call me Kavi. And Kavi, and I forgot what language it means, but it means poet. So she would always call me that. So like I just was rolling with it. Like everybody started calling me Kavi. Yeah. Word, so I was okay. So, Shit. What made you go with that instead of just Tata Don as your IG name? Kavi? Because people, I mean, like, people was calling me it for so long, and then I shied away from it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. as time went on, I shied away from it. And I had dropped a song on SoundCloud, mm -hmm. and, like, mad people who knew me from back then was like, yo, Kavi, this is hard. And I'm like, yo, yeah. how the fuck? remember that name like i'm like yo nah like i gotta bring that back and then that shit just stuck so hard bro Word. like and it's that's lit as fuck yeah man so shit what, what made you get into this music shit bro let's let's go back like, music what, music what, what made you damn. get into this man music been in my family since like i don't know bro like yeah. my since forever bro like it's just always been a part of my family like you know what i mean yeah and I, I originally started, I'm going on like six years. I originally started when I was like 15, for real, for real. But I didn't drop my first official song until I was 16. Where, how old are you now? I'm 22 now. 22, okay. So, uh, it's just always been in my family, bro. Like, that shit, that shit running my you soul, man. musicians in your family? Yeah, my dad was a drummer. Rest in peace to him. Word, bro. Uh, my mom and my aunts were rappers. It's crazy, bro. Like I got, I got who were fucking guitar players. Yeah. Used to play Jackson and shit like that. And that's another reason I love Michael to the death, bro. So like, sit. That's a goat. That's a goat. So wh where you from, boy? Tell them where you from, man. Shout it out. I'm from Philly, bro. From the two one five, do or die. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> I respect it. You, you grew up. You you a Uzi fan? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I used to play ball. I don't think he'll, he'll ever remember me, bro. Like, it's been so long, but, like, he used to play, uh, it's not Frankfurt, but it's, like, State Town. It's a, it's a town in Philly and shit. Word. I played ball up there when I was, like, 13, like, a little fat-ass kid no. playing ball. You ever seen that video of, like, one of his first music videos where he's playing yeah. ball? Oh, that's the basketball court we used to play, yeah. Wow, my boy look mad young in that shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, crazy. Trying crazy. to do, like, 
NBA street shit and all that. Doing flares and shit. Yo, I was gonna say, um, I noticed that your music is mad diverse, bro. Mm -hmm. You feel know I me? Mean? Like I can't seem to pinpoint like a sound necessarily, and I think that's a unique thing. But like, what made you go that direction? You feel me? Like as opposed to like one style and try to like blow from that. You know what I mean? Like I see there's a lot of rock vibes. There's some R and B shit. You sing in with some melodies. Like, like what made you go that route, bro? So originally, bro, like I I always knock and sing. Like you know what I mean? And you know yeah. singing gets singing gets you to girls. So <laughs> that was just always the thing that I wanted to do. Like I always I always wanted to be the ladies guy. So I would just always sing. So I was singing was always like my first thing. I started off like singing. I realized that rapping was like the thing you do to like get like, I've always been like mentally ahead of a lot of shit, like music wise, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. So I realized rapping was the way to like gather the streets attention and like your, your friends attention. Like y'all could all have something to rock out to type shit. Mm -hmm. So I started rapping. Uh, like on Tom, some boom bap shit at first or no? Which was I never on no boom bash shit. I was on some uh, what was it? what was popping at that time. I was on some like famous Dex type shit, famous Dex designer. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like on drippy that. shit, swag shit. Yeah, on some swag shit. I was on that type shit. And as time went on, bro, like I just like kept experimenting and experimenting and experimenting. And then Mad Artist came out. Like that's when Uzi blew up. That's when Trippy blew up. That's when like all the fucking SoundCloud goats blew up. <laughs> and, so like during that time, I'm like, nah, bro, like let me like diversify myself. Word. And as time went on, bro, like it just kept getting crazier and crazier. As Yo, getting... how you feel about mute? Like it's crazy how I always mention how hip hop changes like every five years, mm -hmm. bro. No bro, lie, like every six months. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. Like look at hip hop in like 2015, bro, and compared to now, like that's not that long ago. You feel me? Shit is bro. way different. It's insane, bro. It's like, insane. You think it's for the better or, or shit got like diluted a bit? Hip hop? Yeah. You specific about hip hop? Uh, yeah. uh, shit different, bro. It better, but right now, I don't know. I can't speak on it. I can't yeah. speak. No, nah, I feel that. But it is, it's hot. It's hot ass people coming out, though. Like, so I can't really say that. Like, you know what I'm Word. saying? So, what kind of music did you like really gravitate to growing up then? Like, was it was it like MJ and shit like that, or who was it yeah. anybody else? The Michael Jackson stand, bro. Like I literally like. Uh, hopefully nobody ever leaks this, or they ever have a photo of this. But I wore it like to my 12th grade graduation in high school. I wore a Thriller jacket. Hey, that what's wrong with that, boy? <laughs> That's fire, bro. Like yeah, bro. MJ's a super like M Michael Jackson, Prince, bro. James Brown, like all those three. Like nice. those are the definition of rock stars to me. Like you know what sure. I'm saying. Nah, for sure, for sure. When I was growing up, bro, my dad is super old school. So he's 70 yeah. years old. He just turned 70 this year, actually. Oh, and um, we're, and he used to um like have his cassette tapes and he used to sit me down. This is real music, bro. And he would play like Temptations, the Beatles. <laughs> bro, I was a huge Beatles fan, bro. I'm talking yeah. like I used to have my hair like, like and do the woo. Like I used to just want to be just like them. <laughs> for real, bro. And it wasn't until my brother who mm -hmm. he went off to college in like 02, 03. And he yeah. left me like a bunch of his CDs and whatnot. And I used to always talk mad shit about hip hop. Oh, hip hop sucks. Like that's not real music. But once I heard 50 <laughs> Cent in the club, boy. 50, 50 I was. I swear to God, bro. 50 was the one dude that got me into hip hop. Real talk. Him and Eminem. Facts. But um, what was I going to say? So who's your biggest influence right now, bro? Music wise. I mean, myself, honestly, like, I know that's probably cliche to say, bro, but, like, yeah. I'm, like, really, like, baffled. Like, I don't know if you be pe you be peeping, bro. Like, I be posting yeah. snippets sometimes, and I be, like, bro, like, I I'm surprising myself with the shit that I'm doing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what's I, up. Me right now, bro. Like, how do you find that inner, I guess, like, how's your, so how's your recording process? Like, do you just wake up one day and just be, like, fuck it, I'm gonna make a rock song, or? Yes. Make, yeah, that's how, that's how you do it? Yeah, I wake up one day and be like, damn, I heard, like, in the car the other day, I heard, uh, so Philadelphia has this scene going on right now where it's, like, party music songs. Party so music, it's, so, like, 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 on some, ever, like, like, fixes and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, that type vibe, and you rapping over it. So, like, I woke up, like, yesterday and was like, I'm going to make one of those, and I, I made one of those. So, it's just, 
it all depends on like what I get inspired from. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. No, nah, I feel that. So like, all right. So what's the biggest challenge for you? Like trying to come up as an artist nowadays? Like, is it hard to have a, a unique sound like that? Should it, is it easier to just stick to one or what you think? I feel like the hardest thing about coming up as an artist right now is like people not believing in themselves. Mm. Like, and bro, like it's not, it, cause it's never about it, bro. Like a lot of artists don't know this, bro. But like, like look at rappers, like I, they probably don't even know who Two Chains is. That's incredible. Like you know what I'm saying? But like Crazy. Two didn't blow up till he was fucking forty. Titty boy like, shit. Know? Yep. And it, it's all about consistency and believing in yourself. You know what mm. I'm saying, bro? Like, yeah. and, and I understand, like, especially like we're in the underground. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's yeah. our scene of right now. Like, it could be extremely toxic. Like, somebody, like, you could have all the like hype in the world. Like, you post one promo or something like that, and then like fifty thousand people are tearing you down, and now you don't want to make music. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right, like, right, it's right. hard. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because they're not trained. Like, I've been making music for years. I'm trained. Like, I literally went to a whole. I, I make rock music. Like, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, that's a whole nother stratosphere from yeah. people think I'm supposed to be making music at. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like, you got to train yourself, bro. Like, this I business. Guess, not to cut, cut you off. I, okay, so I don't forget my train of thought. Do you, do you feel like being in the underground scene is cool, but like, is there ever a time where you're like, yo, I want to get out of this shit? Like, I don't want to be in the underground scene anymore. Like, I just want to make it already or, but do you have that fear of like selling out or something? Like, do you ever think like that or no? Nah, bro. Like, okay. I feel like whatever's destined for me is destined for me. And I feel like I'm destined for greatness. Like, wh wh however that might come, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I always, well, like for me personally, I always thought about it like, yeah, bro. Like, cause there's times where I wanted to just quit music, bro. And be like, bro, like why the fuck? Cause you know, as an artist, like, or even as an entrepreneur, like, mm -hmm. are you, you yourself a YouTuber, like, you probably yeah. see some shit, why the fuck does this dude have a million subs, and, like, you know, and, like, right. I, I, I see shit like that all the time, bro, and it's like, why the fuck is this nigga popping up, rather it's, rather it's people fucking with him hard, like, or people fucking with their, like, you know what I'm saying, and it's yeah. just like, and some people, like, blow up and treat their fans like shit, bro, and that shit hurts me as a, as a consumer, because, like, damn, what if I was a fan of you, and I see how you treating fans, like, you know what I'm saying, yeah. and, be praising these niggas like so shit like that overwhelms me at times but at the same time bro i know i'm that it's all a, i'm here for a long time like yeah. that's how i really feel about it like it don't phase me for real for real bro like if i'm in the underground for a long time and i got fucking fifty thousand people who rock with me till death i'll take it that's like dope. you know that's if dope. i stream and i and i grab that blessing bro i'm taking it and grasping and fucking running off with it you know what i'm saying yeah what, what do you look forward to the most when you do get mainstream like for me personally, I can't wait for the day to like be, you know, known enough and have enough following and a, a notoriety enough where I can be myself and be yeah. humble enough so that mm -hmm. people could be like, oh shit, like, whoa, he's mad cool, he's mad down to earth, he's mad humble, but he has all these like, I want that feeling, you know, I don't ever want to go Hollywood. So it's, feel, how do you feel? I'm exactly the same way, bro. Like, I feel like it's all about like, like, I tell people all the time, like, everything with me is, like, family-oriented. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I try to make it as, like, cool as possible. Like, if you're a fan of Kavi, bro, like, I feel like it should all be a family affair. Like, even, like, come come to my shows or whatever. Like, once you step in that venue, I don't care if you're beefing with the nigga next to you, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah. we once you step in here, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? That yeah. nigga fall, watch me pick him up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's Word. all good. Like, I just want it to be the same way. Like, I want to create a fan base to the point where it's, like, we all just one big ass happy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, like, speak, speaking of shows, like I, I see you open up for Autumn before. Like, how was how was that feeling, bro? Like, it must have felt crazy seeing a crowd go crazy to your shit, bro. It was insane, bro. Like the first show, the first show. I'm not gonna lie, like I felt it was a little overwhelming because it was like. So mind you, like I've been mm -hmm. making music for a while, but like I just started getting crazy attention in the underground. Like you know what I'm saying? Okay. So at first it was overwhelming because it's like I'm used to these people like from Spotify and all these other like random the internet, apps. bro. The internet shit is real life now. Internet, like you know what I'm saying? I'm not used sure. to like, but it was good. Like everybody that was there was supporting me that knew me and stuff like that. And they were fucking with me, so it was good. 
But uh, the first show was crazy. I that did also went crazy, bro. I did three shows for them. I did now that second show in Atlanta, it was over, bro. Like it was just like that shit was crazy. <laughs> that shit was is crazy. that was it everything you like? I know you daydream about that shit all the time, bro. I yeah. know as an artist, you probably daydreaming fucking rolling loud, Coachella, all that shit, bro. Let's be real. I, I know we all think about that shit. Oh yeah, so. that's crazy. I knew it was really I knew that I knew I knew like shit was gonna get crazy and I was like really like getting finna blow up in this underground shit bro like the last show because we did the last show of the tour I did that show like I got I had I got one spot opportunity on there nice. they were like, oh, like come through you killed the other two shows you get one song I was like yo I'm going to fucking put my all into this one performance so I got to the show I'm sorry I, I don't want to drag it I'm gonna make this nah, quick. I got you good boy I got to the show because it's, it's such a beautiful moment and I want people to understand how beautiful it could be for them. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, for sure. I got to the show, got there. They're like, yo, you're up. I go out there to perform. I'm the, My beginning song is on. I take my mask off. The crowd goes fucking insane. Yo, now, yo. I can hear you. I had to put my AirPod in. So okay, fuck word. it. <laughs> nah, what was the last sentence you said? No, I, no, that shit's insane, bro. It's just a great feeling, bro. Yeah, where I could imagine, bro. It's a crazy feeling, but I've never felt any adrenaline like that ever at a show before. Well, all right, so what was that one? What's the one song that you really started to see the people gravitate to? And like, how did that make you yeah. feel, bro? So, so the first song I didn't misunderstood is like a slow song. Like that's the song that really like gained attention for me in the underground. Wow. But when I dropped Dirty Diana, it was over. Yeah, yeah. Dirty Diana, you know she live for the camera. Diana. It was, it was, uh, yeah, that bro, shit that hard, shit bro. Crazy. Thank that you, shit bro. I hard. appreciate that. Nah, I fuck with yeah. that shit for sure. How would you, how'd you come up with that shit, anyways? Like, so like, well, obviously, Dirty Diana is some NJ shit. So yeah, so I had I originally. So there's a no response part one, and that's on a like a New York drill type beat. Yeah. So I was just at the show, like the. Uh, so after the first show, I like really sat down and was like, yo, like I have mad songs. Like what is one song like that I could really go crazy with? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. then I just, after that show, I literally crashed at my boy's crib, looked up Rage Beats on YouTube. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Found a producer, got in touch with the producer, showed me this one beat, bro. And I was just like, like, you know, like, especially like, you know, when something speaks to you, like you know what I'm saying, so yeah. like that shit was just speak. I'm like, yo, like if I if I I know you know my boy Drewby, like shout yeah. out Drewby, bro. How did the how many so, takes did it take to do that chorus, bro? Three. I was three. so like, I was so like, I listened to the beat for like three hours straight, yeah, bro. Like I was damn. ready for that shit. So do you go to a studio or like do you how, where do you go to do that shit? Uh. Sometimes I record myself. Sometimes I go to a studio. Yeah, I Word. recorded that. I recorded no response. I recorded Dirty Diana by myself. Word. Do you do you write your shit? I know a lot of rappers be like, oh, I just freestyle. I just off the doom. Hell it's yeah, I write my shit. You write your shit? Okay. Word. Did you just work better that way? I mean, I could freestyle too, but I mean, like mainly, like my whole thing is I don't like freestyling because I like timeless music. Like, even mm. though that's a rage song, bro, like, you'll be able to listen to that three years from now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Bro, I, I want to see that shit at Rolling Loud, boy. That shit will go exactly. so crazy, bro. Nah, we're, bro. That shit will go insane. I was going to ask, do you have a favorite album of all time? Or, like, a from, or, or, or at least, oh, like, artist. an album that you really hold dearly to your heart to this day? Like, rapper-wise? I'm sure MJ is probably, like, Thriller or some shit or bad. Yeah, that's just that's MJ though, bro. Like he's goaded. But yeah. uh an album that really like is locked in with me. Yeah. After hours, bro. Really? By the weekend, bro. Wow. Okay. After, that that is like one of the most greatest bodies of work that I've been able to Damn like, for real. That's what's up. Yeah, bro. Like the weekend, bro. He's another goat, bro. I love, bro. I got that nigga's look, bro. I got fucking XO tatted on me. No bro. way, bro. XO till I overdose, bro. Nah, for real, bro. Like, cause that that nigga's music has helped me through like the craziest of times, bro. Like, Escape I really... from LA is one of my favorite songs on there. Beautiful song, bro. Yeah. Okay, that's what's up. Beautiful bro. song, bro.
That's lit. For me personally, I would say goodbye and good riddance, but that, by that juice, shit, yeah, that is a legendary album. Yeah, yeah. that or 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 um, damn, seventeen is pretty good too for me. Seventeen that shit, is good. That shit go crazy, but um, shit. So how how do you how do you? I'm talking you specifically. Define yeah. success, bro. Like, how would you know when you're like, okay, I made it? You know what I'm saying? Or do you do you ever think about that? Like, is there a certain milestone or some shit? Or, I mean, yeah, I mean, I try to like, I keep mine, I keep like small mile, milestones, like try to get in touch with as many fans every day, like try to stay yeah. as active as I can, like little stuff like that. But, uh, like I said, bro, like, I want to do this as a career, like, you know what I'm saying? It's not mm -hmm. like no quick thing that I'm interested in, like, I don't really have set no goals for myself, but besides make improvement every day, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, my whole thing is like be in a way better position than you were last year. And it's really working because obviously mm. we didn't know each other last year. Like, you know what I'm Word. saying? Like, and now we're fucking doing this. We're here. Like, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Here, so like, this super improvement for me. So like, that's what's up, stuff bro. like that. Shit. So do you think you ever get to that place where you're content or like satisfied where you're at? Because I know for me, I feel like staying content is like never really, you know, it's, it's stressful, but staying motivated is like the way to go. You know what I mean? I'll never be satisfied knowing that there's endless amounts of money being printed and mm -hmm. endless awards that I could possibly win and endless and billions of people that I could possibly meet. And right. the list goes on and on and on. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll never be satisfied knowing. Obviously, I understand, like, you don't even have that much of a lifespan as a human to achieve those accomplishments. Right. Yeah. But I'm a damn sure die trying. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, That's what's up, bro. Shit, you, I just thought about it randomly in my head. I don't know if you ever seen Tyler, the creator, when he won Best New Artist. I think yeah. it was 2011 or some shit. And he came mm -hmm. on the stage with all his homies. He's like, Ma, I fucking did it. Like, yo, I'm excited as right now, yo. That mm -hmm. shit alone was so cool to me. And I, that always resonated with me, bro. Cause he's just a regular kid, like just doing his thing, bro. Just being. And the thing, thing about, thing about Tyler, bro, he never strayed away from who he actually was as a person, and that's why I'll, I'll always respect him. Like bro. he was a weird, he was a weird nigga before he won all that. And mm -hmm. He was a weird, not saying, not saying weird in a bad way. Like yeah, you know yeah, what I'm no, saying, the weirdo, just... the outball. Like you know what I'm right. saying. Like he was, he was like that before, and he's like that now. Like you know what I'm saying. Like, and There's I respect that so much. Way too many bro. rappers that. I just so different. I always think like, yo, do they even have friends anymore? Like, do they even, are they even still <laughs> nah, cool thanks. with the homies from like, I don't know. I'll be thinking about that shit. So always stay, always keep, you know, level headed, bro. I yeah, was going to say you, like, what are, good, what are some, what are some other interests that you into, bro? Like, fuck all the music shit. Like what you be doing on the daily? Like you with any hobbies, you know what I'm saying? That people may not know. I mean, I like playing basketball. I, I haven't shit, played boy. basketball in a while. You ain't shit. Uh, relax. <laughs> Calm down. That's that New York coming out of you. <laughs> yeah, I, be play I was playing yesterday, boy. I ain't gonna lie. I was playing full court and everything, son. I be playing. I ain't play. I ain't play ball in like five months, bro. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Yeah, yeah, I ain't gonna act like I'm that there. nice, but I be. I be trying. I be out here. I like you be playing video like games hooping. and shit. Hell yeah, bro. I be on Fortnite like every other day. You get no dubs. No, I'm I just I won see, three. Oh, are you insane? I'm about to say yeah, you're insane on that one. Hold no, on. I seen it on your story. You won. You won a solos and shit. That's what's up, man. Let them join. Anything else you be you, like you like some random shit that somebody be like, what the fuck? You into that? Uh, I fuck I like with I fuck with food. painting. You said taste testing. <laughs> I like so you like <laughs> eating is what you saying? Food. Yeah, I like eating, but it gotta be like exotic snacks and shit like that. Mad people be sending me exotic food, and I be Word. like fucking eat. I'm about to start posting it though. I think I think people will fuck with that. What's your favorite food, bro? Or genre? Or you could say favorite food. It's fucking, it's called Moshi. It's like a, uh, I heard of that. I think my girl, yeah, it's like shit. it's basically ice cream, but it's wrapped in like a rice cake type of uh, not rice cake, but it's like a rice cover. It's so good, bro. It's so Damn, good, word. it's so good, bro. Yeah, it's it's some type of Asian uh, dessert. That's lit. My favorite is probably uh, Italian food, like chicken Alfredo and shit. That shit goes so Yo, hard. I gotta fuck with a chicken parm, bro. Like I've been that really feeding so for months. hard, bro. I've been feeding for one for months, bro, and I have not got it. I need. Bro, one. you gotta come to Williamsburg, bro. There's so many restaurants out here in Brooklyn. Nah, where? I don't know if you like Thai food, but there's a spot called C. That shit, that should be knocking. If you like, where, bro? Food. 
Where, Shit. what was I gonna say? Um, so what are some dream collabs you got, bro? I know you be thinking like, damn, if I was on a track with this dude or that dude, like, you have any any artists that you'd love to collab with one day? Honestly, I would love to collab with the Kid Leroy. Like, Kid Leroy, I feel like damn, that would go like crazy. Me, I feel like me and him would make a crazy song. Somebody I feel like I make a crazy song with also is Poor Stacy. I don't know if you ever heard of him. He's a he's a rock a artist. Okay. Yeah, he's a rock artist. Alternative. He's he's fire, bro. I feel like he uh fire. I think he used to work with Nick Mira and shit like that. Internet money and shit like that. Yeah, they go to yeah for sure. So like I got mad artists that I want to work with, bro. I know you was telling me you mad fuck artist. with MGK. Let the I let love the, let the crowd Kelly, know, bro. man. Like, let them know dude, in the back. If, <laughs> if I was to ever if I was to ever get with it. Like me and my like, especially me and my manager, bro. Like that's one thing we bond over as well too. Like MDK is like one of our favorite artists ever, bro. Like, like from bro, like from me seeing this nigga come from, <laughs> like bro, I used to. I remember I was 11 years old when I first heard MDK. Like you Word. know what I'm saying? Damn. Like that. So it's like, Facts, damn, man. bro. Like you know I'm what I'm saying? You, like yeah, I was in high school, bro. I've I been, bro. Like the, when I first heard Wild Boy, I was probably a senior in high school. And I was like, this yeah. is cool. This is some house party shit. But to see nah, where he I came that, from, though, bro, to see where he came from, though, is is inspiring, bro. Where? Exactly. He came from nothing. Two number Literally. one rock albums, boy. Yeah, it's a fucking rock album. Yeah. And who he switched the, the genre. You know, like, you know who, what I'm saying? Who doing that shit? Well, Speaking, I'll speaking of rock, but, though, I got but, this shit right here. <laughs> speaking of rock, though. If My Chemical know Romance. Is, fire. I just got this the other day. But shit, let me see if you know about this right here. Where you was at when this dropped, though? Where you was, I was at? In, I was in class saying thugger, thugger, motherfucker. <laughs> I was in the class screaming that. That's where I was at when the barter came out. Shit, nah, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, so. That's when, that's when DJ Academics was covering that nigga like oh, every day. Oh, and Lil bro. Wayne and shit. Every, yeah, every the day. the beef. Oh, every my day. God. Thugger, thugger, motherfucker. It's black. Motherfucker. Yeah, facts. Yo. You have a dream place, bro, that you like to perform at, like specifically. Uh, yo, honestly, I feel like Coachella would be fire. Coachella, mm. like obviously the big festivals, I would want to perform at. Like that's just always been a dream thing for me. Like Coachella, uh, oh, fucking yeah. what? What was it called? What you just say? Rolling Loud. Yeah. Uh, have you ever I been to Rolling Loud? Like, have you ever been in the crowd? Yeah, it's a good experience, bro. Yeah, it, it looks crazy. I want to be like at festivals and stuff like that. I also want to do other festivals. Like I want to do like So What Fest. But for So What Fest, I want to be on the alternative lineup. I would not like to be on the uh, the uh, the rap. Not the back. I was about to say the back end. The fucking uh, yeah. I don't want to be on the green. I want to really? be on the blue. Yeah. Really? Why is this the 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 energy or something or? You want to be I'm more known than, as I'm more than a rapper. Okay, because you know I, a I lot of rappers say that, bro. You know they a lot of rappers it, they say they can't show it like me though. I'm not a rapper. I'm an artist. What? What rap? All these I wanna, rappers say I that ask shit, you a, bro. I want to ask you a question right now. What rapper do you know besides me has backed it up? Besides probably like Trippy Red because he dropped the rock album. I mean, and that the even... first person that came to mind was Uzi. Uzi. So yeah. Uzi can sit here and make R and B music. Rap music, rock music. I feel like he can, music. but he hasn't showed it like that. But I feel like he has music, the potential though. Jazz music. <laughs> what other what other genre is there? Uh, other than MGK, sub, sub genres. I don't know. Rage, uh, plug. I'm just naming. I'm I'm at seven genres that I. So you truly already. think that Trippy Red's the only one that's as <laughs> diverse that can do that? Uh, like out of all like think, rappers, I don't think he's. I don't think he's the only one, but he's the only one who showed it publicly. I can say, does that make sense? Mm. Like he's the only one that openly dropped the rock. Like you know what I'm saying? Like Uzi and fucking, MGK I, and MGK. I, I think Uzi really. I think Cardi could drop a rock album like the way his cadence is. Like you yeah. know what I'm saying? But I, I don't think that'll that. ever happen. You know what I mean? Like. Mm. So I think Mad Artists can do it. It's just I said Trippy because that was an example of somebody who openly did openly it. You know what I mean? It. Yeah, that's a good. Yeah. Yo. For y'all watching this, let us know what rapper, because you know all these rappers, oh, I'm not a rapper, I'm an artist, or whatever. Who what, who other than MGK or Trippy Red is really backing that shit up, bro? For real, word. Bro. I was going to say, I see you got at least 20,000 monthly uh, listeners on Spotify, boy. Congrats, boy. I see you. Yeah, thank you, bro. That shit's going up. 
Thank I you, man. I see you, bro. Shit. So what what are your like biggest goals for the for the rest of the year, bro? Uh just stay consistent. Okay. Just keep just keep uh feeding the fans. Word. And you have an upcoming project or whatever coming up or no? Bro, honestly, how do you go by making real... projects too? Do you just make singles and then be like, yo, this is a theme? Or do you just like a mixed bag? Like you, I don't know. I've been on I've been on singles heavy, bro, because it's like not only like, like I said, bro, like I, I drop different types of shit all the time. Like I'll drop right. a rock song one day and then I'll fuck around and drop a plug song. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. so I just gotta be real careful with that. And also, bro, like I really like I don't know if you ever heard my uh my project Dark Side of Toxic Love Story. That's the shit. I I was just listening to it before. Is that the shit with um that, with the gold teeth on it? Or no? Yeah, where I got the vampire frame. No, that's yeah, not that the, uh, No, that's my that's my that's my little EPI drop on SoundCloud. Oh, okay, because the song right now Dark is fire, bro. I was bumping that shit. Thank you, bro. I yeah, that's one of my that favorite. Shit. That was a throwaway. That was supposed to be on Dark Side actually, but uh, Dark Side is like my actual full length uh <laughs> full like <laughs> full like actually a project yeah. that i put my all into and i feel uh-huh. like bro like i'm one of those people like like i said i like timeless music mm-hmm. and that 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 project is timeless like i'm going to focus on singles until that and then again like i said i can't never there's never no goal for me so i don't think that'll ever have like a point where i wanted to reach mm-hmm. but like i need niggas to hear that like i need niggas to hear that like my song heartbreak in the hills that's my most popular song on every streaming platform like you know yeah, what i'm saying i got crazy and that's, the ads going crazy on that that's that's the song <laughs> that should. blew up you know what i'm saying like that's yeah. the song that got me where i'm at loki like you know yeah. what i'm saying uh-huh. so like <laughs> i feel that i feel that <laughs> so um what was i gonna say i guess the last question what do you want people to like know you for is there a specific kind of style or Oh, like he's the kind of dude. He's the dude that makes this kind of music. Or what do you want people to say about you? Just that you, just an artist, straight up. I just want people to say like, he makes dope music. He makes dope music, yeah, bro. Like I just want people to be, be like, yeah, bro. He makes good music. He helped me through shit. Like you know what I'm saying. I make music to like help people, bro. I use my music for like people who don't got a voice. Like, I, I, some of my shit be, like, heartbreak shit. Some of my shit be, like, gangster shit. Like, all my music is, like, my real life. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't never rap about nothing like that hasn't really been a thing or I haven't really, you know what I'm saying? So, like, mm-hmm. some people don't get to express that to thousands of people. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they got to deal with that shit and be a man or be a woman and take it on the chin. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, don't, nice. I think that shit corny. Word. So, I use my music as a way to, like, communicate with people who can't communicate. You know what I'm saying? Word. Are you you trying to put um you trying to put Philly on on your back or are you you're not really repping it like that? Like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I love my city, bro, but Philly got its own thing going on. Like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. obviously I'm in a I'm in an underground, but Philly got its whole own other gr- underground scene going on. Like you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. like, but if shit, Philly want to put put it, they want to put the city on my back. You know what I'm saying I'm gonna carry it to the chip. Okay, I know that. that if, shit, if, boy. If they want to do that, you know what I'm saying. Shit. So, you a Sixers fan or nah? Yeah, I'm a Sixers fan, man. What you a Knicks don't fan, tell me you're, you fucking you're a Knicks. suck. I, I knew it. Yeah, all right, all right. At least you admitted it. First of all, it. fuck Trey Young. You a bitch. He didn't <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, that turned. Girl, you know what's funny? Quick. When we left uh, Rolling Loud, New York, everybody's like trying mm-hmm. to get onto the train. Everybody yeah. started chanting, fuck Trey Young, boy. <laughs> fuck Trey Young. You know, side talk NYC, you seen that? Where it's yeah. like they they all like yeah. grab the mic, yo, fuck Trey Young, fuck yo, bitch. Like I'm like, yo, y'all mad salty, bro. Like y'all mad was, salty. Trust me, if he was on our squad, yo, we would we would appreciate that shit, bro. He really owns us though. I ain't gonna lie, like he has the lease. He his name is on that shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie, like he's <laughs> violating us. But anyways, yo, shout out your socials, man. Where can we find your shit, man? Uh, Come you on. can find me at Lord Kavi. You can find me at Lord Kavi. L X R D K A V I. Uh, you can find me at Tay the Don. That's T A Y T H E D X. Then either name you Google or like search up my I'll mm. pop up. So like that's the good mm. thing about it. So yes, like, sir. <laughs> yes sir. So yeah, yo, bro, I appreciate you having me. I appreciate you being on my shit. Is what I meant nah, to bro. say. Nah, yeah, worry. I'm about to say thank you for having me, bro. I appreciate <laughs> you a lot, bro. But yeah, man, yo, that was dope, bro. I'm gonna definitely. 
you know what I'm saying? Promote the shit out of this, man. Keep doing your thing. Oh, yeah. I'm about to keep, I'm gonna go crazy with this shit. Keep though. grinding. And I hope to see you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you too, bro. Triples. Your shit going up, bro. Like, I'm Thank I'm you. super proud of how far you came, bro. From even when we first fucking met. Like, it's Thank super. You, bro. It's trying. going crazy for both of us. Like, it's crazy, bro. Like, you know what I'm, I'm saying? Trying, I feel like the universe be, like, pushing. Bro. So, yeah, like, man. Scratch, scratch your back. Scratch mom. Pause. But, uh, <laughs> we... Appreciate right, you, yo. bro. <laughs> what you about right, to bro. do, though? You about to uh, just chill out? You got Fortnite? I do have Fortnite. I'm trash, though. I ain't gonna lie. Well, let me go edit the video, though. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, brother. Yo, be safe. I'm gonna hit you all up. All right, brother. All right, Peace. brother. Be safe. Let's get it. Oh,